In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to use the HTML page encryptor. All right. Basically, what this does is it takes an existing HTML page and turns it into uh, a page that users must enter a password to view. Okay, it, this is not made for any type of, of uh, you know, banking information security or anything like that. Okay, this is just a, a um, an add-on to help you protect your download page and such. That's all it is for. It is pretty secure. I, I will say that. But uh, there are no guarantees that someone cannot crack it, bypass it whatsoever uh, there's just no way that I can make that guarantee all right go down and read the uh, information below and the usage instructions I'm not going to uh, cover that I'm going to uh, just show you quickly how to use it the first thing you want to do is is set up your uh, area on the left here step one okay the browser made a title and it tells you basically if you hover over the information icon what that is it goes in your uh, the user's web browser as the made a title okay it tells you it's all self-explanatory header above login form login form header text above password field and you set these to whatever you would like okay and you've got a lost past text and you know the url and there's a there's a link that says need need a pass and what this is doing is, is it's it's forcing people to opt you know to opt into your auto responder list and of course the uh, lost you would just send them a uh, a auto responder sequence telling them here is how to sign up for this which would be your squeeze page okay that's all there is to it and excuse me that should be let me back up there the lost pass you can send them to the squeeze page or if you want to program an autoresponder sequence with a password in it that's fine too okay the need pass is definitely something you send to your squeeze page they fill out the form and you send them a password to access Okay, once you do that, make sure you update it, like so. Okay, it's updated now with that information. What you'll do now is, uh, let's just say that you've used one of your uh, squeeze pages, uh, you know, the download page you created for it, I should say. And then we will go right here, and we will do choose. And this is like uh, one of the download pages that I created earlier, okay? And I think in this example video in this sequence. So we'll choose the HTML file. It's there. Enter a password. In this case, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. And you got to repeat it. And all there is is encrypt the HTML file. And it saves with a HTML dash protected. Do not overwrite your normal HTML file if you'd like to keep a copy of it because there's no way to recover if you do. So we'll do the HTML, you know, with the, excuse me, the index dash protected HTML. I'm sorry if I'm stumbling along in the video here. I actually, uh, um, working outside on the back area here while the have some workers working inside so i'm kind of distracted by looking around at the outside world all right so we're going to save it and now let's go ahead and take a look at it and let's see here we will first we will look at the actual just a, a raw view of it and uh, so you can see what's going on all right part of it is in the clear i mean the the uh the styling and such as and the actual password area but this is what the content looks like here there you go we have uh, encrypted it and it is very hard to break i've attempted to a few times myself and i've never been able to but you know i'm not one of those uh full-time hackers again it's not made for uh 
banking data or anything like that. So I'm not going to worry about it. It's just made to help protect your download page. All right, so that's what it looks like in the raw view. Let's take a look in the browser. Let me find it here. Got the wrong one. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, now this is what it looks like when people arrive at the page. They're going to uh, see exactly what you're seeing here. And this is the uh, text that you could change. And lost password, need access password. So we entered uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. So enter that. I'm going to submit success. And there you go. That's the page that uh, download page that we created earlier. So there you go. And all that does is, is protect your download page. If someone reloads it, it's going to go right back to it. And there you go. There's not any more to using the uh, HTML encryptor. All right. Sorry for the stumbling in the video, but it's real nice outside today and I'm just looking around. Thanks for watching.